Today I'm fulfilling a dream that I've had for the past nine years since I started gardening on this property. I'm planting a nectarine and I'm taking a massive risk because I am not planting this nectarine under a roof or under an overhang. It's going under the open air. That being said, it is going in the most protected corner on this property. It is definitely protected from the trees behind me, the fence behind me, and if on a windy day, if you're down the slope in the corner where I'm sitting, you will feel less wind in this corner. So I know there is some wind protection. Here is the nectarine tree we're going to be planting today. I'm not sure what size pot this is, this is what it looks like. It is a golden prolific dwarf nectarine. Cold tolerance to minus 26 Celsius or minus 20 Fahrenheit, zone 5. Wants full sun. This location is absolutely full sun for probably 10 to 15, I'd say at least 10 hours a day in the summertime. Probably more like 7 to 8 in spring and other times of the year but definitely a full sun spot it will grow one and a half meters tall by one and a half meters wide and it has pink flowers let's get this tree planted since this tree is being planted on a slope I'm carefully considering the position it's going to go in we've got a dwarf fig tree in this section of the slope and this is roughly where I'm thinking of putting the nectarine but possibly a bit lower down. I'm thinking water runs down so probably midway through the slope here would probably be a good spot. We're gonna get a shovel and start digging. Thinking right about here is a good spot so let's see how this goes. We're digging up the creeping time too. A good chunk of creeping time and moss. The soil in this area is extremely infertile. It's a very light brown color and although I see the odd worm, there is very little nutrition in the soil. So we're going to be going super heavy on the fertilizers and amendments. Before I get my tree planted, I'm going to show you a little bit of the fertilizer I'm going to be using. I bought this berry and fruit tree fertilizer today from Garden Pro. I have never used this fertilizer before. I can't say good or bad about it. It does say it's organic based. I hope that is true because I try to do organic gardening whenever possible. So I'm going to be using that as well as some granular kelp, also from Garden Pro, not sponsored. And my favorite sea soil amendment and a couple more special items. I'm going to be using some water soluble rock phosphate from my favorite, from my favorite fertilizer company, Reindeer's Plant Foods, located on Vancouver Island in the Cowichan Valley, not sponsored. Rock phosphate, if you've never heard of it or never seen it before, promotes blooming and fruiting in fruits and vegetables and flowers, much like bone meal does, but in a slightly different way. And I'm also going to be using seaweed extract from reindeer's plant foods, also water soluble. Plants love this stuff. And I'm going to be mixing it up in this watering can a tablespoon of each and it's going to go into my planting hole. We're going to take the tree out of the hole and get our fertilizers in. Yeah. 
We're going to start with adding the berry and fruit tree fertilizer into the planting hole. Using a pretty generous amount. Add granular kelp to the planting hole. We're going heavy on the fertilizer today. Going heavy on the sea soil as well. And that might be a little bit of a high volume of soil for the planting hole. So I'm just gonna mix it all in and put it to the side a little bit. So the plant still fits in the hole. We're gonna take this fruit tree out of the container and see what, what it looks like down below. What those roots are looking like. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. Do we dump it? Do we? do this oh boy okay so here is my tree with a whole pile of dirt in the pot not entirely what i expected but we'll work with that so before we get started i'm going to add fertilized water into the hole so, And then we're just going to use the soil from the original pot mixed with the native soil and get this thing planted. And we're going to water it in one more time. And I think I'm going to top up with just a little more dirt now that I've watered it in. I can see... The, uh, the soil level has gone down quite a bit, so we're going to just top it up a little bit here. So here is my dwarf golden prolific nectarine tree. I'll plant it up, hopefully in its forever home. I'm wishing this tree a long and prosperous future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to find out what happens later in the season to my nectarine tree. And I'm wishing you some nice spring weather. Happy gardening.